Hello, Matthew Swigert again. Welcome back to the Heart Mind Shiatsu Meridian Education Series. This will be lesson number four today. Today we're going to move on from the yin arm meridians and begin exploring the yang arm meridians, starting with the large intestine. But before I get into that, I wanted to just say I'm just fresh back from the International Association of Yoga Therapists Symposium on Yoga Therapy and Research, and what a wonderful time I had. One of the most important things I picked up from that s seminar was that yoga is great medicine, and you have to practice it daily to enjoy the benefit. It's kind of like a good meal or a shower. You, you wouldn't eat one meal and think, there, I'm good for life, or take a shower and think, there, I don't ever have to shower again. Ah, it's not that way. Yoga is like a daily food that nourishes your body. Movement, breath, concentration, and it's what we bring you in the Heart Mind Shiatsu training as well. It's a kind of yoga therapy. So let's stimulate these areas on our skin, body tissue, and send signals into the brain to relax, chill, have a good day. Everything is great come into current reality, bring our full attention into the beauty of the present moment. Now the large intestine meridian begins at the nail point of the index finger. We studied this last week when we looked at the lung meridian. Starts here with the little, the big merchant actually. This is the little merchant in the lung, on the thumb, right? And then this is large intestine one, the yang merchant or the big merchant, right? Follow the index finger up along the edge. Right along the edge of the index finger, large intestine two, large intestine three, and then large intestine four. Very important point. This is meeting valleys. Uh, probably the most famous acupuncture point, acupressure point in the world. I, even my bank teller knew about this point. It's for relieving headaches, relieving sinus congestion. A lot of powerful uses for that point. And watch the meridian as it goes on up through the crease of the wrist right here. There's a little area we call the anatomical snuff box. Even in Western medicine, it's called that, right? Put that, your snuff right there, and you go, you can sniff in your snuff from that point. And then right along the radius bone, the large intestine meridian moves. Very important, boy, right here in the brachioradialis, right in the belly of that muscle right there, it's three fingers distal to the elbow crease. So there's your elbow crease, three fingers right in the belly of the muscle. Large intestine 10, this is called arm three miles, is for endurance and stamina in the upper body. Very important point. Large intestine 11, right there in the corner. Notice lung one, I'm sorry, lung five was right here. And then just over the bend, right in the meat of that muscle, right at the crease, large intestine 11. You know, your tennis elbows, all those problems of the elbow joint can be addressed by this, as well as general respiration, circulation, and elimination. Elimination is the buzzword with large intestine, right? So... From large intestine 11, we come up the upper arm. Remember, lung was here in front of the bicep. Large intestine is going to be back here right along the humerus bone. You're going to feel the bone pretty strongly there. And that's going to bring you right up into the deltoid mass, the mass of the deltoid, right on the anterior deltoid. And there's a little hollow right in here at the corner of the shoulder. This is known as the intertubercular groove in anatomy. That's large intestine 15, called corner of the shoulder. What a brilliant name. Great for shoulder neuralgia, any kind of nervy pain or uh, trouble with the shoulder joint. It crosses over the AC joint, clavicular acromial joint space, comes into a hollow space right in here, right where the two bones meet. I hope you can see that and read that, but you know, you probably have to come to class and feel this in person, but right now it's really fun to do it on video. So large intestine 16 is there. It comes across the trapezius, and now it's going to cross the sternocleidomastoid muscle, and you're going to find large intestine 16 and 7, I'm sorry, 17 and 18 right here along the sternocleidomastoid muscle. 
large intestine 17, large intestine 18, crosses the mandible, comes under the nostril to large intestine 19, and then finally ends in large intestine 20. <laughs> yeah, it's a little uncivilized. This is the welcome fragrance point. Welcome smell, large intestine 20. And to activate large intestine 20, notice the angle. I'm coming in under the zygomatic arch and moving away from the midline, opening up the sinus to assist the sinuses to do their job. It's a wonderful meridian. I hope you enjoy the large intestine meridian. And if you forget where it is, just think of when you have to wipe your nose, just like that. Ah, large intestine. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the Heart Mind Meridian. <laughs> Heart Mind Meridian Education Series. I remembered. Thanks. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.